Good day guys! So for today, we are going to discuss all about the cylinder naman po. Actually guys, itong cylinder po, uh, hindi po siya ganun kahirap. And actually, mas madali po siya compared kay prism. So balikan lang po natin ang kaunti si prism. Sir, sir, what ano po ba yung ating prism? So prism po natin is a solid which has two bases po. At yung bases po natin, it must be parallel and congruent polygon. Ibig sabihin, kung ang, ang ating pong upper base ay triangle, ang ating pong lower base ay triangle. If our upper base, let's say po, ay square, ang ating pong lower base is also ay square. Sir, ano po ang pinagkaiba ng dalawa? So, when we are dealing with cylinder, ang ating pong upper base, okay, and the lower base must be a circle. Okay, so they must be parallel and congruent circular bases and a curved surface that connects the bases. So actually guys, meron po tayong dalawang klase ng cylinder. So we have here the oblique cylinder and the right cylinder. Ano po ba sir ang pinagkaiba ng right cylinder kay oblique cylinder? So yung ating right cylinder, yung ating pong element is 90 degrees with respect to the base. Pero pag oblique naman po, yung ating element is a certain degrees with respect to the base. Okay, ano po ba sir yung element na ating tinatawag? Okay, so pag-usapan muna po natin si directrix and the element. Okay, so please look at my figure, etong nasa bandang ilalim. So when we say directrix po ng ating cylinder, so yung directrix po ng ating cylinder is a circular uh, base po natin dito. Okay, ibig sabihin po yung directrix is in, is in the circular form. Yun po yung ating directrix, sir. Ito po yung habang ito, which is equals po dito sa ating circumference ng ating base po dito. Ano naman sir yung ating element? So yung element po, ito po yung mga nakatayong yan. At alin po yan sa ating cylinder sir? So basically, ito pong side na to is an element. Ito po is an element. Siyempre, yung likod po yan, meron po yung mga nakatayo din dyan. Okay, ibig sabihin po, yung ating pong curved surface is composed of many elements. Okay, syempre po, yung harapan, it's the same thing. So dito guys, Pag oblique naman sir, paano po yung element natin? Eh di somewhere nakaganya naman po. Okay, nakahilig naman po siya ng kaunti. Okay, so let's proceed with the basic properties of our cylinder. The first thing is, the bases are equal and parallel. The bases are equal and parallel. So sabi ko nga po, kung ano po yung itsura ng ating upper base, siya din po itsura ng ating lower base. Pangalawa, the basal edge are the circumferences of the bases. So, ibig sabihin po, sir, ang ating pong base is a circle. Okay? So, yung ating circle, yun pong kanyang total length ng kanyang nakapalibot sa kanya is our circumference. And this circumference ay tinatawag din po nating basal edge po natin. And the lateral area, so when we say lateral area, tulad din po kay prism, ito po ay yung nakapalibot sa atin. Okay, so therefore, the lateral area is the cylindrical surface included between the two bases. So mamaya po ipapakita ko ano po ba sir ang itsura ng ating cylindrical surface po or yung ating lateral area ang tinatawag. And last property po natin, the section of an oblique cylinder made by a plane passing through two elements is a parallelogram. Sir, ito po yung ating oblique cylinder, ito pong una. Ano po yung sinasabing passing through two elements is a parallelogram. So we are going to cut yung ating oblique cylinder and we are going to make a section. Sir, paano po yan? Okay, alin po ba yung ating puputulin daw or yung ating ipapag-pass through? Two elements. So sir, ito po yung ating isang element. Okay, ito po yung ating isang element. So we are going to cut a section. Sir, let's say ito po yung magiging section dito. Ayan. And ito, therefore, ano po yung mabubuo yung shape, sir? Yan po ay makakabuo po kayo ng isang parallelogram. At para kay right cylinder naman, sir, if you are going to, let's say, to cut po ito into a, uh, into a section, ano po mabubuo mo? Okay, this is also a parallelogram, but particularly, siya po ay isang rectangle. Okay, so ito guys, ha, kailangan nyo pong ma-imagine yung aking mga sinasabi dito. Ano? So dapat po pala, sir, pag hinati po natin yung ating cylinder, Sa gitna ng patayo, meron po tayong mabubuong, okay, meron tayong mabubuong rectangular section. Or pagkay oblique naman, this is a parallelogram. Okay, so actually guys, so dito po pag-uusapan pa rin natin yung ating volume, the lateral area, and the total area. And again, 
hindi po natin kailangan mag sa ulo. Okay, yung volume po natin, it's the same thing po para kay prism. It is area of the base multiplied by the height. Okay, sir, alin po yung area ng base? O, the area po ng ating ng ating ano circle. So, ano po ba yung give uh, area ng ating circle? So, pwede po yung pi r squared or pi over 4 d squared. Depende po kung radius or height ang ibibigay. Uh, radius or diameter, rather. Then, multiplied by the height, sir. Multiplied by the height. Multiplied by the height. So, ito po yung ating magiging formula for the volume. And again, hindi po siya kailangan sa uluhin. Okay, so ngayon guys, pag-usapan naman po natin yung ating lateral area. So sabi dito, this is the circumference of the base multiplied by the height. So ito guys, ha, come to think of this. Okay, let's say po, ikakat ko yung ating surface sa gitna. Tapos ibubuko ko siya papunta dito. Ibubuko ko siya papunta dito. So basically, pag yan po yung binuka, ano? Okay, on both sides, makakabuo ko po dyan ng isang rectangle. Nagkakaintindihan? Okay. So, kung meron po kayong papel sa inyo, subukan nyo po yung isang papel, pagkonektahin nyo po yung ating dalawang sides, ano, at makakabuo po kayo dyan ng isang cylinder. So, therefore, sir, ibig sabihin po pala, yung area po ng ating lateral area is simply the area po ng rectangle, and this is length, and this is the height, for example. Kasi ito po ay height natin, ito po ay height and alin po, sir, yung ating length? So, if you will notice, yung isang bilog po sa ilalim yung ating base. Okay? Yan po ay in-stretch lang natin or binuko lang po natin ng ganyan, which is L. Na equal po siya sa circumference ng ating base. Na equal po yan saan? 2 pi r. Therefore, sabi nga po natin dito, alin po ang lateral area? E di 2 pi r times h. Kaya po, meron po tayo nito. So, again, hindi po siya kailangan sa uluhin. Sir, paano naman po pagka-oblique po yung ating cylinder? So basically, ang mabubuo mo dyan is a parallelogram naman kung ganyan. Sir, yung ilalim po, yan po ay 2 pi r pa din. This is the length or equals po siya kay circumference. E eh, paano naman, sir, yung ating height? E eh, di kuhanin mo lang yung height na to or pwede kang mag-reference dito. Okay? So basically, kung meron kang binigay na element, hindi yan yung height mo, eto po yung height natin. Kukuhanin mo pa rin yan. It must be the perpendicular distance between the two bases. Okay, and for the total area, so tulad po ng dating gawe, hindi po siya kailang sa uluhin. Ano lang po sir ang gagawin? When we say total area, so basically yan po ay lateral area, yung ating nakuhang ito, plus two area of the bases. Alin po sir yung bases? E yung ating circles. Okay, isa, dalawa, tsaka po yung ating lateral area, and that would be that total area. Okay, so please copy po yung formula. And again, sabi ko nga, pwede po siyang kopyahin, pwede pong sauluhin, pero mas maganda po sana kung gamay po natin yung ating principles regarding dito. Okay, so let's try to solve a certain problem. Calculate the volume and the lateral area of a given cylinder with a height of 20. So basically, yung ating uh, pinaka-element dito, ito na po yung ating height, which is 20 centimeters and a base radius, sir. Okay, drawing lang ako na papaganyan dito. Okay, so medyo tabing eh. O sige, gamitin ko na lang yung taas. Meron na naman akong circle sa taas. Sir, with a base radius. Okay, ito po yung gagamitin ko ha. Ang radius ko daw po ay R which is 14 centimeters. So calculate the volume. So sabi natin, sir, volume is what? Area of the base multiplied by the height. So, ang area po natin is a circle or ang shape natin is a circle. Therefore, the area given the radius is what? Pi r is squared. Sir, multiplied by the height. So, ito po yan. So, pi. Ang r po natin ay 14 is squared. Ang height po natin ay 20. Therefore, this is uh, volume. Tayo po yung nakasentimeter. So, cubic centimeter. So, what is our volume? Okay, wait. Wala pala yung calculator ko dito. So, this for a while. Ayan, so pi times 14 squared times 20. Okay, so we have here, ano to? So, uh, 12,315.0432 or simply 3920 pi. Okay, so gamitin ko na lang po yung ano, exacto. So, 3920 pi, cubic centimeter. So, ito po, lumabas. Okay, so ito po yung ating 
volume. Okay, so therefore, sir, meron na po tayong volume. Alin pa, sir, ang hinahanap? Ayan, sir, we are looking for the lateral area. At sabi ko nga, ang lateral, e ang lateral area po, ito po yung nakapalibot sa atin. At sabi ko, sir, kanina, di ba, uh, sabi niyo, sir, kanina, which is, pag ang ating pong cylinder is a right cylinder, ang kanyang lateral area is simply what? Yung ating length multiplied by the height. At yung ating height po, ah, sorry, at yung ating length ay what? This is the circumference po ng ating circle. So, from here, to get the lateral area, so this is simply what? Ano po yung ating circumference? 2 pi r. Then, multiplied po ng ating height. So, from here, so h. So, we have here 2 pi. Ang ating pong r is 14. Ang ating pong h is 20. Therefore, the lateral area is equals to what? Okay, so let's proceed. So, 2 times 14 times 20. So, we have here 560 pi. So, this is in square centimeters. Okay, so ito pong ating uh, cylinder guys. Ito ang isa sa pinakamadalin topic po ng ating solid geometry. Kasi this is just composed of a circle of a parallelogram and that's it. Okay, so let's proceed with problem number two. So if you will have any question po, please feel free to approach me. Okay, so this is, ito po equivalent niya nito. So sakto lang po yung ko dito. Then, ito po yung ating 560 pi is square centimeters. Okay, so let's proceed with problem number two. A circular cylinder with element of 5 centimeters is included Ah, sorry, is included, is inclined to the base at an angle of 30 degrees. Okay, sir. Ang element daw po natin, sir, alin po yon? So, pag naka-oblique po, ito yung ating element. Element po ito. Element po yan. Element and element and, and, and series of elements. So, ibig sabihin po, yung gawin ko na lang, yung side po ang isang element, sir. This is 5 centimeters. Okay, at yung atin daw pong element is, okay, is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with the base. Ayan, sir. 30 degrees with the base. If the circumference, so the circumference is uh, 12 pi. Okay, so this is in centimeters po. Find the lateral area and the total area, sir. To find the lateral area, so basically, ito po yung ating... Okay, so ang magiging itsura po niyan, sir, pag naka-inclined, meron po tayong parallelogram. Okay, yung ating C, ito po yung ilalim, which is the length which is equivalent to 12 pi. Okay then, sir, alin po yung height natin, sir? Ito po yung ating height na nawawala po ngayon. The perpendicular distance between the two bases. So from here, sir, yung atin daw pong element ay naka-incline ng 30 degrees. So we are going to find a way para mahanap po yung ating height, sir. Ito po ay 5, ito po ay h, ito po ay 30 degrees. So I can use what? Okay, right? Triangle. So, I can use what? The Soka Toa. So, from Soka Toa po, I will be using the So. Sir, alin po yung So? The sine of 30 degrees is equals to, the opposite is H, and the hypotenuse po, the hypotenuse is 5. So, from here, H is simply what? 5 sine of 30 degrees. So, this is in centimeters. Okay, sir. Meron na po tayong height. Therefore, pwede na po nating mahanap yung ating lateral area. And lateral area is simply what? The circumference is 12, 12 pi multiplied by the height which is 5 sine of 30. So basically we have here what? So lateral area is 12 pi times 5 sine of 30. Okay, so we have here 30 pi. So we have here uh, the unit is in square centimeters. Okay, yan po ay Lateral area pa lamang. Tandaan nyo guys ha, ang ginamit lang po natin is a parallelogram. Sir, how about the total area? So the total area or the total surface area, siya po ay yung ating lateral area plus yung dalawang area po ng ating bases. So to get the area po ng base, kailangan po natin ng, ano, the formula of area of the base is what? Pi r squared. So from the circumference, c is equals to 12 pi na equal daw po siya kay 2 pi r. So from here, makukuha po natin yung r which is what? So 12 pi divided by 2 pi is simply 6 centimeters. So from here, area of the base is what? Pi times 6 squared is 36. So therefore, lateral area is 30 pi 
plus 2 times po ng 36 pi. So, we have a total area of, so 30 plus 36 times so 72. So, we have here 102 pi, okay, is square centimeter. So, this is our total surface area. So, nagpahirap lang po dito guys, is paano po hahanapin si height. At pag kayo po ay sanay sa ating plane geometry again, kaya mo magawa ng, uh, let's say, mga triangles po within a parallelogram. So, wala kang magiging problema dito. So, the answer is total area is the 102 pi square centimeters. And the lateral area is 30 pi square centimeters. Okay, so let's proceed with problem number 3. O, sabi dito, find the height and radius. Sir, we are looking for the height. We are looking for the radius of an ordinary tin can. So, when we say ordinary tin can, para ka lang may lata. So, ang lata mo, so syempre, in a cylindrical form po yan. Okay, yan po itsura natin. Okay, with a volume. So, the volume is what? 12,000, <coughs> sorry, cubic centimeters. Whose height is twice daw po ng ating diameter. Okay, so basically guys, alam natin that diameter is what? 2 times r. So basically, h is equals to 2 times, ano po yung d? 2r. Or simply, height is 4 times r. Okay, ano po ba yung volume natin? What is the formula of a volume regarding sa ating cylinder? Sir, that is what? The area of the base multiplied by the height. And the area of the base is what? Is a circle. Therefore, pi r squared multiplied by h. So, volume is 12,000 is equals to pi. Ang r po natin is yung r squared. Ang h po natin ay 4r. So, from here, 12,000 is equals to, so we have here 4 pi r cubed. So, from here, r is simply what? So, please calculate po and you will get here the value of what? So, r is simply 9.8474-50218 centimeters. O, ayan, dineretso ko na muna. Okay, so ito po, exact yung ginamit ko ha. So, store nyo na lang value para hindi po kayo mahirapang magsulat. So, ano pong hinahanap? Find the height and the radius. Sir, ang radius po, meron na po tayo. Okay, ito na po yung R natin. So, ngayon guys, hanapin na lang po natin yung height. So, height is simply what? 4 times R. Ang R po ay yung ating nakuha, 9.8474-50218. So, therefore, the height is what? So, 39.3898 centimeters. So, ito po yung ating dalawang sagot. Okay, so basically guys, ang ginagawa lang po natin dito is more on plane geometry pa din. Wala pa rin pong pinagkaiba. Okay, so mas madali lang po yung ating uh, cylinder kasi po siya ay Napakasimple nung pagkakagawa sa kanya. Ano? So, meron lang siyang curved surface. Tsaka po yung ating bases, uh, circular base lang po yung meron tayo. Okay, so let's proceed with our problem number, ano ba to? So, we have here problem number 1, number 2, number 3, and problem number 4. How will the volume of the cylinder change if the height is tripled and the diameter is doubled? Sir, unahin muna po natin Volume of a cylinder is area of the base multiplied by the height. So, dito po ang binigay, ang height daw po ay matitripol, ang diameter daw po ay, ay madodobol. So, gagamitin ko na lang po yung area ng ating circle using what? The diameter. So, pi over 4 d squared uh, multiplied by the height. So, this is the volume po natin. Let's say V1. Then, sir, ang mangyari daw po, our height is tripol. So, ang ating magiging height, let's say H2, ay siya daw ay 3 H, oh, ito, H1, H1, D1. Okay, so H2 natin ay 3H1. And the diameter, let's say D2, siya daw po ay ano, uh, magiging double. So 2D sub 1. So volume is simply what? Pi over 4, this, uh, D sub 2 squared, H sub 2. So this is V2. So V2 is simply what? Pi over 4, ano po ang ating D2? Sir, and the add. ang ating pong D2 ay ano, 2D1. So 2 D1 is squared. Ano po yung H2? Ang H2 po ay 3 H sub 1. So from here, V2 is what? So pi over 4. So we have here times 4 times D sub 1 is squared. Then we have here 3 H sub 1. Okay, so basically guys, if you will notice, ang pi over 4, D1, ah sorry, sorry, ba't napasama yung isang 4? Wait lang. 
Tanggalin ko muna to ha. Okay, so tanggalin ko muna yung 4 dito, tsaka po yung 3 dito. I uh, isolate ko siya ng kanya. Okay, so we have here 4 times 3. And if you will notice, ang pi over 4 d1 squared multiplied by h1, siya po ay ano, sir? Yan po yung ating v sub 1. So 4 times 3 is 12. Ibig sabihin po, yung ating volume pala ay magiging 12 times larger. Ano? Or 12 times po ng ating original volume. Okay, so this is all about our cylinder. So if you will have any concern or question, so please feel free to approach me. So thank you and God bless.